Welcome to Print Media. In this unit, we'll talk only about print media, or written news sources. In video one, we'll talk about the process of writing a story in a newspaper and the general structure of an article. Let's start with the process from draft to print. We've talked about how to take a topic and turn it into a pitch, and then research that story idea by interviewing sources and gathering documents. Now a journalist is ready to write the article. Generally, the first step is to create an outline. This helps organize the content of an article before it's written. A journalist outline could look like this. Notice the ideas are not written in full sentences yet. An outline only focuses on where the sentences will go in the article. The next phase in the journalist process is drafting. Now that the journalist knows the order of the ideas, they can write their first draft. A draft is the first try at writing the article in sentences and paragraphs. Once the draft is completed, it's taken to a copy editor who makes sure or checks that the article is clear, connected, understandable, and written in as few words as possible. A copy editor is similar to an editor of a book or of a paper, but a copy editor doesn't always change the words of the journalist. The copy editor sees the big picture of the newspaper. He or she knows how much space is available for a particular story. A journalist only focuses on their story. The copy editor has to make sure that article fits with the rest of the newspaper in size, tone, and style. Once the draft is approved by the copy editor, the final draft is sent to print. Now that we understand the process, Let's talk a little bit about the structure of a news story. There are several parts other than the article that the journalist needs to create for every story. Let's start at the top. The first thing the reader sees is the headline. The headline is a title that should give the main idea of the article, but also capture the reader's attention. The second part of the article is the byline. This identifies the author and the author's job. Sometimes the byline can include the date and the location of the main event described in the article. The next part is the lead. The lead is the first paragraph of an article, and it often tries to give the most important facts and information who, what, where, when, why, and how. We'll talk in the next two videos about different types of leads and how to create a lead. In the body section of the article, the journalist usually includes several quotes or information from other sources that are details of the news story. The final sentences in the article are the conclusion. Sometimes journalists will use a final quote to end the article, or they'll add a summarizing statement. Finally, many journalists include images, graphs, or maps that accompany the article. These generally have a caption below the image. Uh, the caption is a small explanation of the image and will include the photographer's name. To summarize, before an article is printed, journalists must complete three steps in the writing process. These are creating an outline, writing a draft, and getting approval from a copy editor. Once the article itself is written, a headline, byline, lead, body, and conclusion are also created. Captions should be written to accompany any image or graph. In the next video, we'll talk more about article leads.